Hello and welcome to my channel or welcome back. I'm very glad that you are watching. Um, this is my second time recording this video. Um, the first time the audio and uh, video just kind of failed and um, also if I sound a bit drunk today <laughs> it's not I'm not um, I'm just very um, sedated with pain medication anyway so I wanted to release this video before the 1st of December as this is when my new planner is starting and I wanted to just show you guys my 2023 planner system or what I am planning to use. Uh, but first I uh, I have to still show you the Hobodichi Tacho original for this year that I used a few months. Um, just just a few months um, and I also had a like annual book uh, that I have just added uh, where I have keep my uh, trackers and, and stuff I'll, I'll talk about it in the new one but this is this is the one that I got it was just I'm like Okay, so when I did my last video with the faux Hobonichi setup in the cheap notebook and I used it, it was very nice, but I realized that it was it was working because I had a lot of stuff going on <laughs> in my life, so I could use uh, the one page, like the A6 page a day for my planning, but that changed after I bought my actual Hobonichi and I couldn't feel, feel it anymore so yeah I um, I decided to go back to the tried and true Nolte <laughs> Listy um, last year I just I couldn't get it after my failed weeks um, because it was sold out this year I uh, made sure that I uh, bought it early on so uh, it wouldn't be sold out and that's what I did um, because it just has a smaller layout I'll show you later first of all I am going to show you the books that I will not be using daily probably which is my five-year Midori journal where I have skipped a few months, but uh, I'm finishing it this year and I still have four left. So yeah, um, it's still pretty. I've, sh I've showed you this before. It's just, mm, let me just find a page here. Um, I like the paper. It's not a lot to fill in. And uh, yeah, I, I will be using it still because it, it looks awesome and I love it. Um, then I have a traveler's notebook cover. This cover uh, belonged to my husband. It's just, a, it's not the actual uh, traveler's company uh, stuff. It's just a cheap cover from Amazon. Well, cheap. Uh, I mean, for some people it's not. Um, <laughs> but like, it wasn't like, it was just like 25 bucks or something. And in there I have a sticker insert. This one is from the Traveler's Company. Um, then I have my diary insert from Good Impressions. I've uh, talked about them before. Um, I'm sure you can find it in my uh, videos. And then I have like a cardboard um, folder thing where that is housing my like just simple notebook it's a very utilitarian insert from amazon i believe i think it came actually with the cover i don't i don't remember and it's just for simple note taking whatever i need paper for to write stuff down um 
this is what I use. I've been I've been actually using this for like two months now or something. So yeah. Um, and then I have a like a plastic uh, folder with like card slots and a bigger like wallet zipper type thingy and a um, blank insert for sketching and stuff. I also have like this that I've used uh, like the year before last or something where it's just little um, little entry space for I'm using it for stuff I did with my husband like trips we've taken dates we've done stuff like that and I just keep it in here for whenever I need to take it out and use it that's also a, like a pen holder um, so yeah this is mostly what I'm using uh, on the knot daily and now we are coming to the the naughty that I'm using for next year um, it's the same one that I showed before on my channel just for next year I have a picture here and um, I'm not going to use the calendar spread because I just don't I don't have a use for it um, this one I'm still undecided if I am going to use it for maybe my cycle or something um, however I do have an app that I'm using I've been using this app for like 13 years or something so I, I, I don't think I'm going to change it and uh, here we have already have the December it starts in December of the previous year this is the month uh, spread where I simply note down the holidays birthdays appointments with the with the time if I have it and um, ev events stuff like that and just a little bit of decoration and um, the appointments I have a like explanation for them in my weekly spread this is next week or tomorrow <laughs> to be precise um, this is the weekly spread I have decorated already for December a little bit I note down the days that are holidays and um, the appointments I write down at the time that I've noted down in the monthlies plus what it is where it is and further details I always have in my Google Calendar because that is the one that I can actually share with my spouse uh, up here I just have a it's not a habit tracker it's more of a chores tracker uh, stuff that when uh, when I've done stuff like vacuum mop the litter boxes and stuff I note it down if I done that that day they are usually daily so uh, I don't forget I used to do a habit tracker in my weeklies for like stuff like I don't know yoga and reading and blah but I have a very nice um, habit tracker app on my phone with the widget so I decided I don't need to track stuff three in three places and things like that yeah so uh, down here I have just a running to-do list for the week where I don't have a specific day I just write it down and when I've done it I mark the day I've done it and cross it out up there I'll just write something that happened probably on that day maybe not I don't know yet I will also mark down when I've woken up and um, if anything note of note has happened on that day and down here I might write a weekly tarot reading if I do it which I don't always <laughs> so yeah this is like the month that I've already decorated those are the next months um, I did so 
um it goes until december obviously um the months the months however they uh go until let me just check until the march of 2024 so months are further than the weeks and we have do have a few notes pages as you maybe can remember if you see my other videos on the nolte um i did try to put my yearly like trackers in there but then i was thinking um maybe i will not be staying in this planner all year Maybe I'll change halfway through, as, I've, as I'm known to do sometimes. So I don't want to write those pages again. So this is why I have my annual book. I've done this this year before in the, um, also like a Hobonichi supplement notebook, like it comes in a three pack. I've, I've done it for this year and i will be doing it for next year however the size is the three pack of the weeks hobonichi weeks supplement and notebooks it has tumor river paper and the small grid which is nice and if i decide to change my planner throughout the year i don't i have this this is basically like an annual book or insert if you will i can always put it in the next planner if i change it so those are uh, my back pages quote unquote um, we have our bills and subscriptions where i just note down a dot for every month i've done it or like when i've paid it because sometimes i forget i have here my work or commissions um with date what i did how much it cost how much how many hours if it's been paid and stuff like that then i have a new spread for me which is the beauty and wellness spread where i uh, just note out things that are not regular like doing my nails uh having my hair done or curling my lashes or even even pet stuff like cutting their nails and stuff that is not regular or it is regular but not always on the same day so i just note down when i when i've done it last so i don't uh, forget and this is sort of the same thing but for irregular housework and chores like i don't know um uh, sweeping the garage or uh, mowing the lawn or whatever you have in the house that is not uh, like a daily or weekly or even monthly well monthly tasks probably I will see I don't I haven't decided yet what all I will include in this uh, then I have my workout log uh, where I just uh, note down uh, the date and what it was if it was I was at the gym or I've done like a hike on my treadmill or uh, I've done yoga or something like that then I have my writing log I um, write sometimes on my blog I, I'll talk about it later and um, I just like to note down uh, when I've written a story, how many words it had, the title, the genre, stuff like that. This is my reading log uh, where I just note down every book I've read. I, I know that I won't be using a lot for this, so I've put uh, half of it into my reading log uh, where I just uh, note down the start date, the finish date, the title and a five star rating for the book same for watching however this one has six pages because i we 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 watch a lot <laughs> so yeah i need a lot of space for this and the last or oh, second to last is uh, the parcels and purchases when i've uh, purchased stuff online and i I'm awaiting a parcel and stuff I note that down what it is if it's been shipped and uh, if I have received it 
so I can keep track of that because I am notorious for buying a lot of little things and then forgetting when a parcel is due and stuff like that. So I have another six pages for this because th th this has to last me for <laughs> for an entire year. And the last one is just a wish list for myself and gift ideas for other people. So this is yeah, that's mostly it. I do have a few pages left and uh, maybe I'll just use it for stuff like, I don't know, recipes I don't want to forget or something. But this one just stays in here in my planner. And um, yeah, like I said, if I, if I decide to change the planner, I can just take this into the next one and don't have to... Uh, make those pages again this one is it's just a shiny cute paper that I am using to mark the week and uh, yeah I might uh, actually just put it in in there but it's a bit too big um, I don't know yet I like the whole one book idea kind of but I don't want to have a huge book like, say, a <sighs> Winnichi Cousin or something. I do like this format. I don't, I've tried A5 several times, but it's just too big for me. And um, I've had a look at several different planners. And um, this one is just the one that I come back to every time. And um, it's my favorite. So, yeah, uh, by the way, those are the pens I'm using. It's just a Caveco uh, fountain pen and a, another sort of, it's not Caveco, it's a dupe from China, I believe. So this one is um, inked with, um, oh God, um, Alt Gold Grün from... Aurora and Klinge, <laughs> I don't know if you know, and and this one is inked with uh, the Caveco uh, purple, I believe, or dark blue or something. I I don't, I I would have to look it up. I don't know. So yeah, those are my very few things I am using for next year. I uh, decided to leave out the dream journaling and like extra cycle stuff like I don't I don't keep up with it for a whole year I know that so I'm just trying to not burden myself with too much to fill out I hate double planning I hate double journaling like if I if I will if I'm journaling long form then I'm using my journal and this this one is just every day like one sentence or maybe two that's it I do have another planner quote unquote it's it's a calendar a wall calendar for my husband and me um that's just downstairs on the wall which has just like stuff like um, trash collection days and just simple stuff um, but that's it I have a planner I have my travels notebook with a few inserts and a five-year journal that's pretty much me for the next year I hope I will stick with it but I'm not I'm not certain as previous years have proven I don't know <laughs> I am I might uh, find something else and try it out um, but otherwise and that's pretty much it also I have started to upload uh, stories on my channel if you've noticed um, the thumbnails are different so you can easily find them um, they're just stories of uh, they're just short stories, uh, creative writing that I've done on my blog and uh, I decided to 
either read them out or let them re read out by an AI voice. Um, I've done three now, uh, two with myself and one uh, with the AI voice and I have to say the one with the AI voice has like triple the amount of views so I'm guessing that people like that better than my actual voice so I'll just keep uh, the AI voice as far as I can because it's pretty expensive actually so we we will see I, I do have a few uh, uh, stories lined up and I do hope uh, you will tune in and enjoy them as much as you enjoy my planner content um, but yeah uh, I don't think I will be doing another video uh, on planners this year but it's almost over and um, there's not much more to say from my uh, next year setup I might I don't know uh, we'll see you can just subscribe <laughs> if you like and um, see my stories and like the planner videos if I happen to make one again and uh, like the video that would be very appreciated and um, I'll see you next time bye